Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing a quick video on, um, we are kind of remodeling our new house. I wouldn't really call it remodeling, but anyway, painting, um, I got new curtains and yeah, so it's kind of a chicken fried mess right now. So I'm not going to take the camera out until it's done, but anyway, I thought I would just show you some of the paint swatches and yeah. I'm going to go down to the paint store. I've got to kind of decide whether I'm going to do. There's, I looked up the top 10. Um, I think it was Sherman Williams or Valspar or Bear. Um, they're all pretty much the same. Um, the top 10 paint colors that they're using in new houses. And believe it or not, light, really light gray. Lighter than this is really in. And then the second. Our third color is kind of a really robin's egg. I don't know if you can see it. This this I used on something else. Um, a really, I wouldn't call it robin's egg. I would call it, well, yeah, maybe a really light teal. It's beautiful. So I haven't decided. So anyway, um, today when we were out, we picked up a ginormous white rug. I've been looking for this rug. Uh, I probably should have bought it through Wayfair. We can always roll this one up and take it back or to where we got it. It is huge. It's really, really white. And it's fluffy. Um, and it has little specks of, like, little tiny specks of gray in it. Um, it's like a shag rug. And um, I'm already going to get a new sofa. I just can't. The sofa that we have just doesn't mesh. So anyway, um, but I thought I would show you guys before I hung the last panel of curtains up. I thought I would show it to you versus taking you out there before it's painted. And I wanted to show it once it was completely done. So yeah, um, Target, one of my favorite stores. I call it Target. <laughs> Um, Target. Anyway, I have been looking for these curtains for so long. When I found them, I was jumping up and down. They had them in like a dark navy blue, but I wanted um, gray because no matter what color we used, whether it was light gray, teal, our carpet's gray, so I thought it would look good. Anyway, here they are. Um, they're made by Threshold. They were not cheap, but um, that's what they look like. They're just striped, and they are actually beautiful. Better than the black and starred Amish. I don't know what I was thinking of. Um, they're beautiful curtains, but I have a friend that may uh, use them in her house. She has kind of more of an antique look than we are using. But anyway, so, yeah, I bought six panels of these. They were not... Um, cheap. They're lined and I wanted silk or taffeta. Couldn't find them. Um, but they are shiny. They're like a sateen. So yeah, that's what they look like in the picture. Why it always starts to do an update is crazy. Anyway, so there is what they look like. Um, really nice. So I hung them on one, two, three, four sets of windows and then we have the slider and then the one in the kitchen so I want I want all the curtains to match um, I think black on one and gray on another is going to look bad so there's the curtains um, then we went to Bath and Body Works they were having a crazy sale crazy um, sale on their candles I was going to show you some of the swatches of paint um, these are certainly way too dark. Now, some of them are kind of dark because, or some of them have a little bit of dirt on them, um, just because I had them tucked in my purse, and yeah, they have pin on them, but anyway, so this is probably, whatever color you like, um, the bedroom is getting close to be done, being done, the buffalo wall, I need to go in and pull the tape off. If you leave it on too long, you can have a mess. Um, I'm probably going to go with Dover White Cliff. It's right at the top. It's really, really what, really, it's close to white. 
as you can get, but it's gray. Um, so yeah, there it is. And and then do the fireplace in an alternate color, the how it goes up. And then on each side of the fireplace, like I said, I'm going to have um, built-in cabinets. Um, and then shelves above it on both sides. I may not have cabinets on the on the side with the TV. I may just do an armoire. Not quite sure. But that hole in the one corner, it just kind of looks weird. You can't put a chair there. Somebody would be like, sorry, got a text. Somebody would be like, if you if you had company over, they'd be sitting in the corner, and you'd be way over. Yeah, it just would not work. So. Anyway, and then I found a beautiful couch. Um, I'm really debating on it. It's gray, and I don't want too much gray, but it's beautiful. So, and then here's my, yeah, so I showed you the Dover White Cliff. And then here is the um, one I was going to do the bathroom in, the main um, bathroom. I think I'm going to wait on that. But this color is Americana Decor Chalky Finish. And obviously this is, would not be enough to do much of anything. But um, I like to take a little square and paint it on the wall and see. Like I'll do gray, I'll do teal, and see which one looks the best in different lightings. So we shall see. And then I will, once that's done... Um, I will get that uploaded. So, and then these two, yeah, this is the one that I have in the bedroom. No, it's the gray behind me. Um, in the master, I'm doing the buffalo checked wall. So, this is what buffalo checks look like. Everybody's asked me pretty much like this. That's what they look like. Very, very difficult. So, and then I will review these candles are on sale. They are like some of them ten dollars crazy. So you have like one wall, one stripe is this is a little different. One stripe is like let's say this is a beige, and then you're gonna have black stripes. You've got to measure them off. You don't want too many black stripes. And then you gotta you have to take it and do each square. You have to measure out each square and then you have to count over and put like some kind of glaze over it or something. It's almost like my shirt, um, but not that simple. I wish it was. Anyway, so um, I reviewed these candles yesterday. So we went back and then I have MAC also. I will review that. Ariana Grande has her... Um, every year, Nicki Minaj did a color, um, Ariana Grande's, Miley Cyrus was last year, her Ariana Grande's color was a little bit weird, and I tried it on, and it actually looked beautiful, I'm not wearing it right now, um, let me show you this first, before I, and then I got a day, day timer, I decided not to spend like $60 and go, through the other company I did because it only was good for like six months and I spent a lot of money. So this way I think I can make it work and get all the stickers and everything I need from Target. So anyway, here is the, the Ariana Grande and it is called Viva Glam Ariana Grande right there. And you would not at all expect this to be a color. You would think next week they're going to come out with a beautiful launch. Um, I told her I had a bazillion. If you trade in six max, you'll get a free tube of lip lipstick. And I told her I must have had, I mean, this is crazy. Anything empty, eyelash containers, there has got to be, there's like three bags of these. So, yeah, that's how I get most of my lipsticks is trading these in so I need to take those in I forgot them today and Anthony gets impatient so you cannot you can't get um, new launch stuff like this but you can get the regular Mac um, 
colors. So she said, wait till next week. They're going to come out with some beautiful pink ones. So I said, okay, I'll do that. And then I'm going to do another video. I want a contest through Boehm. It is crazy. I will go um, over that later, too. Yeah, I was really surprised. They called me yesterday, and they're like, where you fill out the fishbowl, and you fill out one piece of paper. Well, Anthony filled it out. I didn't know. And I filled another one out for a $250 gift certificate. Well, I won the better one. And I was like, oh my gosh. They called me. And he goes, yeah, I filled it out for you. I was like, whoa. That was really cool. Anyway, let me get this out. Come on. Ugh. So this is a really, really pigmented color. Um, Anthony said, I think you should get it. So I had them. I tried it on. I don't like to try lipstick on, but they take rubbing alcohol. And then I tried it with a um, lip liner. They sharpen it, and then they take rubbing alcohol, so it should be safe. This is a matte. This is a matte lipstick. Come on. Are you kidding me? She put the sticker over the end. That's why I can't get it out of that end. Let me grab my... And then I have candles. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Right. Let me grab my tweezers. I don't want to scratch the... I don't think it's going to come out this way either. The tweezers are not going to... Oh my gosh, I've never had this much trouble trying to get a two there we go. I'll open the other end. Okay. So here it is. It has all of the the yearly launch, like the Miley Cyrus always have the red around them. Um just so you kinda know what you're grabbing for. Now the color you're gonna think that is crazy, but it is actually beautiful on. Um yeah, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a name, it's just Ariana Grande matte. So there it is. It's like a chocolate brown and it is actually beautiful. I will um I'm wearing e.l.f. right now and I was surprised when I put it on. I will review it real quick. It was beautiful. Um for a dollar a tube. So here's what this looks like. It is very pigmented, but it's almost like a plum color. So there it is. And you, she said since it's a matte, it actually is plum. It, to me in the store it looked brown, but it was beautiful. I, I put it on and Anthony said, I think you should get it. It looks beautiful on you. So I did. Since I had my hair highlighted, um, yeah, it looks a lot better. And I'm obviously growing it out. I'm not cutting it short anymore. So it grows very, very, fa very fast. So I was going to have a weave put in. Those are kind of, they really damage your hair. So I figured I would just wait and let it grow. Okay, so there's the Ariana Grande. And then she has a, um, just a plain lip gloss to go with it. I didn't buy it. Um, it's cause just because I have a million of them and it's kind of just like a sparkly color. Um, nothing with much pigment. So, there's the Ariana Viva Glam. Here's the MAC eyelashes, which I'm wearing now. Number seven. Um, so I will put this, actually, I need to, I lost my, I was talking to Anthony this morning. I said my eyelashes are on the bathroom counter. Be careful you don't knock them in the in the you know garbage can. Guess what I did? Lost one of them, so I had to buy. I usually make them last about a month. Now these are not. Um, those are Kiss, I think, which is my second favorite. But these are Mac number seven. Um, and yeah, so I have one left, and then I had to go buy a new pair today. So. They look really good. Now that pink eyeliner, um, Anthony said, I don't think you should wear it. It kind of made you look really tired, and um, he wasn't a real fan of it. So I could probably wear it, get by wearing it as a lip liner. I'm not quite sure. So anyway, 
there's that and then I just threw in two other colors I don't know if I reviewed these I don't think I did here is Amplified Cream Lipstick, and this is in St. Germain. I went on a search literally years ago until they brought this back. I love this color. Absolutely love it. Um, and this was a free one. If you cash in five, I think it's six. Um, let me wipe the top out. Top off. It's kind of gross. It's a really, really, really light pink, and it's beautiful. So there's that. Um, I can do a swatch of my hand. So yeah, there's what it looks like. It's really pretty. And then I got the matching gloss that goes with it. So I was really happy they brought this back as a regular product. And here is the lip gloss in the Saint Germain. And I think this was a Facebook favorite. Um, here's the color. Beautiful, beautiful. It's almost like Nymphette, but it's a little bit more pinky. Almost kind of like pe Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I'm going to put it over my lipstick so you can see how perfect of a match it is. So, there it is. Okay, so there's those. And then I'm going to review... I don't usually review e.l.f. a lot. I used to get their subscription. But this color was absolutely beautiful. I was shocked when I put it on. It is called Pink Minx. And um, I thought I had left it at the store. And I was cleaning my car out the other day. And it was in the back of my car in the original packaging. And I was like, there's that elf I've been looking for. So anyway, there's the front of it. And that's what I had on when... I started the video and then I just threw some pink poodle over it. MAC, not sure why, kind of ruined the color so you could see the true color, but there it is. It's beautiful. Um, if you don't have a lot of money for lipstick, um, e.l.f. is has some wonderful colors. So there it is. Um, it almost looks kind of corally. It's right here. This one. And can, if you can believe, I will show you this lipstick. I will, I mean, nail polish. I will, will review this. I bought it yesterday, painted it this morning, and it's already chipping off. I am not happy. So there's that. Um, let me throw those in. If you have any questions on the Ariana Grande, whatever, I will get back to you on that. Please don't pronounce, tell me how to pronounce her name. A lot of people have done that. I just do it my own way, and that's how it is. Anyway, so, um, I got the number seven lashes. Those are on now. And then, okay, I've got, oh, here's the, I picked this up at the salon. Two Rivers Salon is where I go. And I've never seen this. This is 5 free, and it's the coolest they had lip gloss but they were out of all of it and this is called Smith and Colt have you ever seen a nail polish container like that so I put it on this morning I put two coats on and it already has chipped off a little bit but I've been painting and you know cleaning so that's probably reasonable now it comes off like that so um yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. And this is called Suburban Warrior. I can't remember if I reviewed this yesterday or not. I don't think I did. But I wanted the matching lip gloss and they didn't have it. So let me paint a little bit on the back of this. But it is a gorgeous color. It's very pigmented. So one, one uh, swipe across your nails if you're in a hurry. Um, would do wonders. So there's the color. Anyway, so then I gotta run over to Ace Hardware and pick up the paint and get going on the living room. I still haven't finished the bedroom, but that's me. I like to start 17 projects and get going. Now, um, Bath and Body Works. Crazy. Here it is. We went back in. 
Now they had candles that were only, we went for the candles that were only $10. I wish that they had candles with um, the same colored wax. It's hard when you're trying to decorate your house and you have candles with pink and purple and green. It's a little bit hard, but if you go for colors that are like, I'm doing my house in gray, creams, whites, a lot of white, a lot of white. And if you got all white, you'd have some chicken fried mess of smells that did not match. Anyway, so um, here's one of them. Anthony picked this one out. I don't like the color of the wax, but it's just wax. We can put a con one of those containers over it. This is pineapple, mango, Bath and Body Works. And the best way to um, smell it is to rub the wax. I think I've probably already said that. Is to rub it instead of lifting the lid. Oh, it smells so good. I would love to have... to sit by a pool and drink a pineapple mango no alcohol of course but that's a that's just smells so good so there's that one and then here is this is one of my favorite watermelon lemonade ten dollars crazy I know these are off season but um yeah I think they're just trying to clear out their candles Oh, it smells so good. So there's that one. Oh, let me read you the notes. Um, why not sit back, sit and relax a spell with this pleasing mixture of watermelon, sparkling water, and freshly squeezed Meyer lemons. And then this one, the, this one, pineapple mango is luscious tree ripened mango and sweet tropical pineapple are complemented by crisp lotus and a hint of warm vanilla and then there's two more in here I didn't want to go too crazy this one is mocha latte swirl I love the packaging I thought it was really cute um, and this one is recharge the scent of a wonderfully wonderful of a wonderfully rich concoction of espresso espresso and creamy caramel topped with whipped cream Oh my gosh, this smells like a mixture of coffee and chocolate. It smells so good. So there's that. You can see where I've rubbed it, but it, that will be gone the minute you light it. So what I do is I light it, I let these burn down, I blow it out, and then I pin either pinch it off. Instead of trying to cut it, it just makes a mess. And there's no scissors in the world that's sharp enough to go through these. Yeah, unless you ruin your good sewing scissors. So, there is the cup, the label, and the top. Then there's one more. And then the two I reviewed yesterday. This is London Tea and Lemon. You can guess. This is Anthony's, one of his favorite. This one has a plain lid. Um, Bath and Body Works Home. They must have a new line. And this smells like tea and lemon. Um, you can smell the lemon more than you can the tea. So there's what it looks like. White. Now that's what I'm talking about. The wax. I wish it was all. A lot of them I will pull the. If I don't like the label. I will pull the label off. And put it in one of those containers. But this one's not too bad. It's tea time. Enjoy a majestic celebration of a royal blend of tea, lemon, and sugar. So, there's Bath and Body Works. Um, I took my VS stuff back. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys these at Christmas. These I'm going to do a perfume review next. I've got a haul at all in here. There's hundreds of bottles, but these are really cute. I'm heartbroken. Um, Anthony wanted to get out of there, so I had to leave. He just didn't want to wait. Anyway, I got the matching socks, and these I got at Christmas. They are so cute, and these are a small petite, but they are ginormous. I don't know if I can shrink them or just wear them baggy. Um, yeah, so I got the matching socks. There's what they look like at the bottom. 
they are just really, really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Yeah, I could think of a bazillion outfits, and you could probably actually wear these out on the street and not feel like a bum. I don't, I'm not a sweats girl. I don't like to wear sweats out, but I think I could put like a white t shirt and some white tennis shoes in the matching. I got the ex exact matching socks. I should have reviewed those. They are really cute, but these are huge. Look at the rear end on these. Oh my goodness. I don't know. So anyway, I was going to return these, but if I return them, they will be gone forever. So I might send them to my mom and see if she can take them in somehow. I don't know. And then I went to Victoria's to return this. It is about 17 sizes too small. I was going to wear it underneath the white um, the white silk top. I thought it would be cute kind of peeking through. They didn't have the right. They had a double D. I was like, that is not going to fit. So this is way too small, and the other one was way too big. So I figured I would wait on this, and then you guys don't need to see the rest of the stuff in the bag. And then... Um, what else is there? I don't want to get this lipstick. I gotta wipe this off. And then, okay, so I reviewed these two candles, I think, yesterday. I don't think I read. This is how much we've burned so far. It's crazy. Look how much is gone. This is the lemon, mint, and tea and refreshing spearmint leaves combined with fresh lemon. Fresh, zesty lemon verbena to, the, to delight your senses. Not a favorite, but I love the color. This is one of the colors I'm thinking of doing our living room. Or I might do the fireplace in this color and the rest in a really light gray. I haven't decided. And then the other one was, for some reason, Anthony bought a sound bar. Because now we're not in the apartment, we can crank the music or whatever. We've been having trouble. Trouble. I bought him a Vizio TV for Christmas. We can't hear it, so we bought a sound bar, a really loud one, and this was behind the TV. I don't know why I stuck it under there. Here's Paris lavender macaroon. I'm pretty sure I reviewed these yesterday. This one is a truly French treat that combines fragrance of lavender blossoms with a delicate patisserie cookie, and it smells just like buttercream. I don't smell the lavender. Love it. You know, I, you guys know why I bought it. It said Paris, and it was pink. Okay, so there's the Bath and Body Works. The I can, I'm dying to show you guys the curtains. They are beautiful. The Amish ones. Wow. Those were a hundred dollars a panel. I'm gonna have to try and sell them. They are brand new. If anybody's interested, let me know. They are they're lined. They are beautiful. They are absolutely. There's some with black and um, kind of yellowish stars, and then there's some black and white checkered ones. So if you're interested, let me know. I don't know. We'll have to work it out somehow. Anyway, so these are the. I love them. I absolutely love them. They will look beautiful with our gray carpet. And you can see the color on the wall. It's that light gray behind the curtain. So there's that. Um, that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And then I'm going to be doing a perfume review in a few minutes. So let me get this uploaded. And then I know I can't show you pictures. Uh, let me put these clips away. Since I had my eyebrows plucked, my hair looks so much better, except it's not as blonde as I wanted it. But anyway, um, the Emily Merritt collection, yeah, I absolutely love it. This is the duvet we're waiting on, so it's going to be so beautiful. Um, and I'm actually considering getting rid of the Hayworth uh, canopy and going with this headboard. I think it's beautiful. And then I have the tulle bed skirt, but this one has little gold dots. So I don't know if I'm going to switch them out or what. Anyway, so I will get this uploaded. Oh, and then I had one other thing I was going to review. 
since I just had my hair colored, I'm a little sketchy on this. I got this from the body shop. I can't remember if I reviewed this or not. It's called Hair Chalk. It comes in blue and pink. And I'm really into pink hair. I think it's really cute when you do just a few streaks. And it almost looks like blush. You could wear it as blush. Yeah, I've reviewed this. And you just take a little piece of hair and you run it run it down like this on your hair um i i don't want to mess my color up i'm just really kind of sketchy on this but you run it down and it is beautiful so i will do a tutorial on this so before i hit 31 minutes let me get this uploaded i will see you in a minute i'm going to do a entire perfume review it is crazy there are hundreds of bottles and then i need to run over eight run over to ace i'm going to show you guys our um filter that i pulled out it is black we have lived here three months it is crazy i cannot believe it um yeah and then um i'm going to do an instagram on my outfit of the day i just kind of tucked this in and I didn't want I didn't want to cover up my hundred and sixty dollar jeans. So what I did was I just tied this shirt. I think I took a picture of it. And then I have this one underneath it. It says New York, New Long, Milan, New uh London, Venice, Los Angeles, I don't know, all different places. And then the back, the jeans are really cute. I love the white stitching and these are what is it? LA Idol. Yeah. Let me see. No, they're Rock Revival. So the jeans were $160. And then I will do a separate video on what I won from Bohm. I am dying. I'm absolutely dying. I'm so excited. Anyway, so let me get this uploaded. I will be back in a minute with my perfume. I'm going to have to stand it on. I don't want to move that table. I have so much of my Lush. I'm trying to get it organized. I'm going to pull the, the shelves off, like I said, or the shelves, the doors, and have Anthony build shelves and paint it in a coordinating color and get a better display system. So, anyway, let me get this uploaded. I will see you in a minute. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. And, yeah, I'll see you in a minute with my frags. It's crazy. And then if you guys want to see anything else, my lipstick collection, my makeup collection, I will go over that. I have a huge Kiss Meow. Ginormous. I tried to get it all in one box. It's crazy. There's, whoops, there's more on the floor. He is one of my best friends. Oh my gosh, Wendy, she is so sweet. I love her to death. She is so sweet. Anyway, these are lotion bars. And she has the cutest packaging. Look at it. It's got a little kitten on it. Anyway, so let me get this uploaded. And I will see you in a minute. Thanks for watching. Sub, sub, sub. And I will subscribe back. Just give me a couple days. And I promise I will get back to you. So I will see you in a minute. Bye.